Hey, this is Ashwin here, and this is actually my first voiceover, so I'm going to be really nervous the entire time. But basically, I wanted to do a new challenge, which might have been done before, but I'm not really sure. Uh, basically, I'm going to leave the rules down in the description, so if you guys wanted to try to do it yourself, I know my friend Jenna's going to try to do it. Um, but we're doing renovations for all of the Sims 4 houses that were already in the game. And right now, this is the first house I'm starting on. I think it is called Rindle Rose. I can barely read it. It's like this tiny little thing in the corner. You guys should be able to see it just fine. Um, but basically, there's rules concerning it. Like you can't delete roofs or you can't change the roofs unless it's like a new extension. Or you can change like the walls and the floors, that kind of thing. Um, but I'll put everything, like you said, in the description. So... Um, right here, I'm just changing all the walls. I wanted to try to see if I could do like a two-tone, like part of it maybe being brick. And sorry, there might be pauses too. I think I was multitasking while I was recording this, so there could be some <laughs> delays like this. It's not the video. Your video is fine, I promise. Um, but basically, right here, you can see I'm trying to do like a stonework on the wall, but I didn't like the way it was working. I thought about putting wood or I just figured it might make more sense just to have it look like maybe they repainted it um, did the best they could for the outside the idea behind it was that maybe somebody like like a younger person like maybe a young adult purchased the house and they just kind of updated it a little bit they wanted it to look more modern as you can see I dropped the foundation there which technically is against the rule but what I'm doing is just placing the all the greenery the landscaping it's easier to do when there's no foundation because I don't know if you've ever played where you try to put something next to the foundation that jumps up onto the foundation well if you drop the foundation first and then place the items as long as that item is I believe at least 50% or more on the regular ground when you raise the um, when you raise that back up it actually stays where it's supposed to be on the ground so just a little trick it makes it a little bit easier to put down the plants so you'll see in a moment here I'll raise it back up to where it was before so because that would definitely be against the rules like ad adding something like a basement is against the rules foundations don't really get changed in real life and the idea was to keep everything pretty realistic um, I thought about just changing the color of the cabinetries here. I know a lot of people would do that in a real renovation, but I really didn't feel like these cabinets matched the theme I was going for. I wanted something more modern, and these are kind of old-fashioned. They're nice cabinets, but they're pretty old-fashioned, so I didn't think it really fit anything. Um, you can see like I'm placing the lights directly over where they were, because in real life, if you were to put a new fixture up, it would be in the same spot. But you can still obviously change the actual fixture, like what it looks like. And I actually struggled with this kitchen. And I don't know why, because normally the kitchen's actually my favorite place to decorate in the house. I love doing kitchens. And I think it's just because the space is so awkward. I did try to keep everything relatively where it was originally. And this is more challenging too, because one of the rules states that you can only use the game pack for the related world you're in. So since this is a base game world, I can only use base game items. And I didn't realize how very little there was until I was restricted to only base game. So it was a little bit more of a challenge just having that rule in there. But I think that's one of the things that made it more entertaining too, because you, you kind of really have to think about where you're putting everything, uh, what goes well together, because as you know, as, as everyone added on to it like all the base game or around the expansions and the game packs they added a lot of things that fit in or matched with base game items believe it or not so I mean there was more you could do with it but as you can see the color scheme right now it's kind of pale um, I do end up changing that I end up changing the um, the section this the long section in the kitchen the counter space it doesn't look right to me that does end up changing later on um, I think I got really frustrated with this entire space I was going to try to stretch it out and just take over the entire front porch um, like build it like close enclose it in because I know technically people do enclosed porches that sort of thing just to give them some more living space but I felt it was a little bit unrealistic and it would would have completely changed like the front of the house and everything and I didn't really want to do that so 
I ended up just trying to do what I could with what little space I was given. I do end up, I think at one point, I stopped working on the living space because I was getting so frustrated and I really didn't know what I wanted to do with it, especially that main corner right there to the right. Um, so I might, I think in the video it skips to a different room and then goes back to it. I just had no idea what I was going to do with it. It was not, it was not what I wanted at all. Um, I like when, once I've changed the walls and everything, it does end up looking a lot more warm in here. It was a little cold before with that white wall, so I changed the floor too. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. More, more like homey. It looks more warm. It doesn't feel so cold and sterile like it did before. So, but yeah, I think I changed these. I, I changed those, um, those stools. I couldn't think of the word. I'm sorry. Yeah, I changed those stools out. I changed a lot of things to be honest because I just didn't like the way it looked and I couldn't decide if I wanted to put the living room on this side or if I wanted to put it on the other side. I think they're the same size either way. It's just a really tiny space. See, so, I mean, originally um, this house, I think it has two bedrooms, uh, but I end up turning one of them into an office space. Now I do plan on putting this in the gallery, so if you guys wanted to download it or anything, you could change that to another bedroom easily. Um, just redecorate it, it would be pretty simple to do. And I did forget to decorate that front porch, and it's funny because I even took a picture of it, like the original, because so, in, in the end here I'll show you all the befores and afters so you can see what changed. But I completely forgot about the front porch for some reason. Um, I mean, you could easily decorate it if you downloaded the house. You could just like, you could just put like a little seating area out there if you wanted. If you wanted to do the second bedroom as like a kid's room, you could maybe put some toys out there or maybe like a, a little doll house. Um, you could put a grill out there, something like that. Or if you wanted to bring like pets in, you could put some stuff for pets out there. I just completely forgot about it. So it's a blank when you download it, I apologize. Um, and here I'm putting the plants in. I originally had the terracotta ones, but I felt like the bright orange kind of stood out a little bit. This house is pretty monotone when you first walk in. I feel like um, for it to look modern, I did kind of stick with neutral tones. So it would almost be like if you took a picture out of a magazine, very similar to the style, but it does look nice in my opinion and I feel like like somebody like a young professional would have bought this house and there's the ones that actually decorate it yeah see I was I was so frustrated with the front room I end up skipping to the bedrooms here and of course I wanted um, I wanted the bedroom to look warm and inviting so I do change all the colors here in a minute um, I wish, I really wish I could have used the other floorings. I mean, this this floor's nice. I feel like a lot of the wood floors we got with the newer expansions, especially like the cats and dogs expansion, I love the wood floors in that. But it would go against my rules. So I'm thinking the next house I do, I might do something from cats and dogs just because I really want to use the flooring in that. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna do anything where you can add like expansions or anything because obviously only some of our expansion packs came with worlds so like this sitting living for my Shuno San my Shuno so obviously when I do San my Shuno Shuno if I do one of the apartments I'm gonna make it base game um, and the living live city living pack but I don't know because the the thing is is I love the parenthood expansion pack when it comes to like the items that are in it so I don't know if I want to extend my rules and maybe allow like one additional pack or something like that just so that you can use those side packs um, because I just I, I love the windows even like the building items in that the floorings um, the kitchen is probably the best one. It's probably my favorite one is the kitchen set that came with the parenthood. But I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Because I'm sure there was a very similar um, challenge. Probably very similar to this. But I couldn't find one. I did search to try to find an actual challenge that has already been done. Um, but I didn't find anything. So I kind of just made up my own um, 
for what I was thinking of in terms of like a renovation because a lot of times you see a renovation done for the Sims and it's actually it's it's almost like they completely change the house it turns into something else entirely and I didn't want that I wanted it to be more realistic I wanted it to be like if you actually bought a house you know and you had the money to redo it like how what would you change um, so I mean you can take down some walls I know sometimes like a kitchen space is separate from the living room and uh, a lot of times you'll take down the wall so you can kind of open up the space that sort of thing that's pretty common but I didn't want it to be like, oh, let's just delete this entire room or like completely reconfigure the entire space. It just didn't really make sense to me because it's not what you would do if you actually renovated a home. I mean, if you were going to start to just completely remove everything, you may as well just bulldoze the entire thing and start over, which I know people actually do in real life, but that's not really a very common thing. So I wanted it to be something that would make more sense for everyone. So I did finish the bedroom just there kind of went by pretty fast um, I came back to the living space I decided just to do like a dining area um, I mean obviously I originally was thinking maybe put like a piano or something there but I felt it was I don't know I just didn't like for the idea I had an idea of, of, of like a sim that would live here and it really didn't fit what I was looking for because I wanted them to be like artist for like painting um, not necessarily like piano that kind of thing so you could, of course, just delete that if you wanted to and just, you know, put like a piano or something else in that corner. I just, it didn't really fit what I was looking for, so. And as you can see, I'm completely redoing that part of the kitchen. It was just too much space with just, yeah, I thought about doing the whole thing around there, but I ended up just putting two stools. I think I moved the one stool to the one side too, just to give you more room. But just, yeah, a little, a little table here. So if your Sim has like friends over, they have like a space to actually sit down and talk and you can like make meals and stuff for them. Um, I mean, I like the way the space came out in the end. It does look like modern and, and I don't know, I, I like it. You might not like it, it might not be your style, but I did want to change it to be more modern. So this is, this is more my style personally and I like it. So, and I was looking for things to put like in a centerpiece and yeah. And then of course I was like, well, I need a fruit bowl. I need a fruit bowl. And I couldn't, I had to go find the fruit bowl. And I, I was looking for the one that was in parenthood again, a parenthood. I love those items. And then I forgot that I don't, I can't use parenthood. I can only use the base game. So that's not really going to work. So I might change that rule. Maybe just add one or two or no, I think just one pack. Cause I don't want to overdo it. I want to make, I basically, I wanted this challenge to be something that you could, you know, you could do even if you only had base game or like if you only had a couple packs, it could still be something you could do. Um, but I mean, the main point of the challenge is to make it fairly realistic. So, I mean, I kept the sink where it was because in reality, all the plumbing would be there. Um, if in the bathroom only do that, I keep all the plumbing where it would actually be just because it makes more sense in terms of like an actual renovation. Even if you replace the toilet or replace the sink, all the plumbing would still be in the same spot unless you completely gutted it, which does happen, but not very often. So that's kind of against the rules in this case. Um, yeah, we go to the bathroom now and I changed the colors while I was messing with the bath or the bedroom. I like the the brightness I like a bathroom that doesn't feel like really dark and enclosed so I wanted to keep it kind of fresh and airy because it's a pretty small bathroom to begin with um, and it being just a, a square like that I wanted it to be bright so yeah and as you can see I placed the wall sconces exactly where the previous ones were because again the wiring would still be there in real reality you know the wiring would still be in that spot you just have to replace the fixture which is easy to do I've done that myself so and then we're just adding a little bit of um, a homeliness here you know make it look like it's actually lived in and I, w I wish those sconces weren't where they were though I wanted to move them so bad because there's a painting in here that painting I love that painting but I had to put it kind of high up on the wall just to get it in there because the sconces were so low on the wall if they were maybe lower like the, the actual um, lighting if it was a little bit or higher I'm sorry if it was a little bit higher on the wall I could have put the painting underneath it but ended up having to put it up top and I think originally I was going to make this a second bedroom but then I decided that I really just wanted this to be a house for like 
it was mostly the idea was just like a single sim just like somebody that was really focused on their job maybe they worked for from home you know they had like a little office area so they could work from home comfortably um, you could make it like a a couple maybe that lives here maybe one of them is a painter and the other one maybe works just on the computer from home um, you could even do it like where they're like the newer um, the stuff that came with city living what was it called um, like the social network job I can't think of what it's called but yeah and I originally I was looking for I was gonna I think that painting started it the one with the like uh, the violin and the uh, the, the guitar I think I was contemplating putting like music stuff in here and then I decided since I had already changed the idea from the front room having the piano I was not gonna do that I just wanted I wanted just like a simple a simple room with like, like a, a place for them to paint and there's like a little reading corner in here I actually think this is my favorite room in the house which is weird because I don't I don't usually like red so much and there's a challenge going around on the internet where people are just doing solid color builds. And I did try it. I didn't record it. I don't know why. And I did red and discovered there's actually quite a bit of red items in The Sims 4. So I built an entire house just using red. And it was, I, I really liked it. And I think that kind of got me to like red a little bit more than I used to. But I do like how the wood kind of transitions into the floor. And I did the same thing in the other room too. I just really liked, I really liked how it flowed. I just think it looks nice and it looks more warm because you've got the, you know, the warm tones of the wood. So we kept it like that. Here's the little reading corner. And I struggled with what bookcase I wanted to use because I was thinking, you know, modern, I was thinking in terms of modern, and I'm like, oh, I just need like a solid bookcase, but like none of the ones that we have in the base game, none of them I really like, so. And I'm gonna rearrange that completely because those paintings, I wanted them in the room, but they kind of take up a lot of room and they cut into the, the, the curtains, which I hate. I wish you could pull them away from the wall a little bit, but it's not possible. They actually, you could probably delete the wall put it down and then put the wall back but that's a little bit of a pain so I didn't want to do that uh, but yeah there's this little painting corner I'm pretty pretty close to the end here I'm gonna start showing the screenshots I'll do the befores and afters so you can see everything but yeah let me know what you think um, but thank you guys very much for watching and you enjoy the rest of your day